Did you know that trauma can be transmitted from mother to child and is traceable in the blood? In a new research project, researchers first interviewed more than 100 women who had all been subjected to sexual violence and torture during the Kosovo War in the late 1990s. Then blood samples were collected from more than 100 children of these women. It turned out that nearly 30% of the children have an abnormal level of the stress hormone cortisol. Now, what does this mean? A high level of cortisol is a marker of a heightened level of stress, while a low level is associated with aggressiveness and antisocial behavior. The research shows that children of women who have experienced symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) during pregnancy are much more likely to have high levels of cortisol compared to children of mothers without pregnancy (PTSD). The scientific discipline that the researchers used is called epigenetics. It has to do with how a person's genes are turned off and on. In the study, the genes for stress, anxiety and alertness were turned on for many of the children that were born to mothers with pregnancy PTSD. In other words, the transmission of trauma from mother to child has been traced in blood samples. The next step will be to treat the children for their trauma in order to see whether this will affect the cortisol level in their blood and they will become less stressed and alert.